what are we going to get into today? Well, there's a company out there called, they make a, it's called My Vodka Maker. They make a continuous still, a countertop continuous still. Uh, so I haven't opened this up yet. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And then uh, we're going to just do like a review on it. Uh, they did give this to me. They sent it to me. Uh, and I've done a few reviews before. I just have to be brutally honest. And I will let you know. Uh, I did go online and see a little bit online about it. So, all right, let's open up and see what we got. But first, welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is the channel all about home distillation brewing. All right, let's see what's in this box. All right. I mean, it's, uh, the box ain't too awful big. All right. Put this knife away before I hurt myself. Okay, so first thing we got is we got a little bit of instructions here. Uh, I did go online. Uh, this is operating instructions. Um, but anyway, I did go online and I went ahead and printed out the instruction manual for it. It's all it was simple. Uh, so let's get let's get this out. I think this is a South African company. Whoop. Got something there. Uh, packaged seem to be packaged very well. Whoop. This is the uh, Vodka Maker Plus model. And I think what the difference is the, between the Plus and, they make two models if I understand right, it's the Plus and the Mini. Uh, the Mini will only make vodka. Uh, the Plus, which is this one, will make the um, vodka and will also make your rums and uh, your whiskeys and your bourbons and stuff like that, okay? So the, there's the unit. All right, we'll go through that. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty simple. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, here we got some hosing. Different styles hose, uh, they all have uh, a purpose, and we'll go through that. Uh, this, I think this hose here with this little filter on it, once you have a mash, a permanent mash, you put that in there and this goes to the machine, then I would assume this is a hose for the waste, okay? Then we'll figure out what these two hoses are all about. All right, so you do get some hosing. All right, let's see what's in this package. Everything seems to be well packaged. I'm trying to get hot today. Okay. In this package, we have a controller. Ooh. So we have a controller. Uh, I think the early, if I ain't mistaken, the earlier models, you download something on your phone and you use your phone as a controller. Uh, there's no buttons, buttons on this for to control it. And then you got a cable here to uh, connect power to this, okay? All right. The only thing I don't see, and I thought I read it in the directions is, you got it because it comes from different parts of the world is you use a diff a power cord you supply the power cord which if i am mistaken that is like a standard like a crock pot power cord i'll, I'll have to find one of them or a coffee pot we'll check that out okay all right 
I mean, it seems to be well made. So let's see what these ports are. In the book itself, it has. Whoop. It seems like a lot of good directions to answer some of your questions. Okay, so what these ports are is, this is what they call your whiskey port, your vodka port, and this is gonna be your heads port. If you have the mini, you only have two of these little ports. Oh, can you see that? You would only have two of these mini ports if you had the mini. But this is the plus model, so you're gonna have, let me rephrase, whiskey, vodka, and heads. Okay? And like I said, in the mini, you only have two of them ports. All right, I'm looking forward to using this. Well, what we got on the back? All right, can you see that? On the back, we have, the, of course, the power cord. And then we got, this would be the wash coming in on this hose. That would be your wash coming into this pump in this hose. Um, of course, you have a power switch and the red button. This would be the waste coming out, right? And a puke tube. Wait a minute. Waste coming out. This is a puke tube. So I guess if you would get clogged up or something like that. I'd love to open this up, but I'm not going to. Um, and of course, this is a vent up here, so I would imagine you would undo that. All right. So that is the unboxing. What I need to do is I need to read the directions fully. And what I'll do right now is I am going to make me a, a sugar wash for two reasons. I'll make a sugar wash and then we'll run that through it for, like I said, two reasons. One, to try it out, to practice it, and to clean it, okay? Just like any other still, you need to clean it before the first use. I mean, you always got stuff from manufacturer. It might be in a, I would assume they cleaned it before they shipped it and all that, but I'm gonna do it again anyway, all right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get a sugar wash made and then we can, We'll come back to this and we'll try to do that sugar wash and uh, see how this thing works, all right? Okay, so I'll get that done and we'll be back in like a week or so. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got my sugar wash, it's fermented out. It's ready to go. We're gonna give this uh, my vodka machine, or my vodka maker, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna give it a try, okay. So let's see how we do this. Well, number one, and I think I said it in the beginning, they offer a very nice instruction menu and download, and it gives a lot of great information in there that will really help you out. Okay. The only thing I did is, if you notice here, I put labels on there just for me. Uh, I mean, they have them in the, in the book of what each port is. But I just did it because that's it helps me out. Okay, so the first thing we needed to do, and I said this before, it does not come with a power cord. I got this one off of Amazon for like six bucks. So it's not no big deal. Um, it is a IEC 13 socket. That's this end. Okay. You'll find them a lot on computers, printers, and stuff like that, or you can buy it off of Amazon. I think the reason they do that is because the, this is made in South Africa and it's shipped all over the world, and everybody has different plugs. This is what we use in the United States. All right, so we'll plug it in first so we have a power outlet. Plug that in. All right. Next. Uh... This is the control manual, or control module, and it comes with the power cord and all that good stuff. Everything you need. If I get the wire undone. I've been looking forward to 
trying this out. I think it's going to be very useful in the brew house. I mean, if you wanted to make some neutral spirits and, or you can make whiskey and stuff and just set it and go if you don't have time. Yeah, let's, all right, so we're going to plug this into there. It's all metal construction. And then it has a power port on the back. You can either use the, what do you call that one? But it does come with an adapter to plug it in the back. All right. All right, so we're going. Okay, so now we need to hook up some hoses back here. All right, can you see that? Okay. This is the wash in. And you know it's got a weighted screen there, so we're going to put that right here. So let's wash in. I just want to be careful because there we go. It goes on pretty easy. So that's wash in. Alright, this tube here would be the waste out. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So, and I, and I even put labels back here. And that's just me. I mean, they got a nice direction here. Put waste out. Right on there. And it does have a little piece of copper on this end to help it stay in the, in the, uh, the waste jar. All right. Now, this is a for the puke tube. So if it wants to puke a little bit, you can put a jar back here just so you don't make a mess. Uh, so you put that right here in, in the middle, the puke tube. Now this one here, I'm not quite sure what that is for. Unless it goes on maybe one of the ports up front if you have a small jar or something like that. Alright, let me get some stuff out of my way. We'll turn this back around where it be. Okay, so what we're going to want is a jar under heads and this is kind of our sacrificial run now. The uh, inventor, he says, that just run off of like 100 milliliters and that will wash everything out and then you're going to have a good product after that. Okay, we're getting ready to turn this thing on. Kind of exciting, ain't it? Alright, so here is my fermented, it's just a sugar wash. Alright, and then I got a jar here for waste, which we want it on like on the floor at a lower level. Make sure there ain't no kinks and all that good stuff. Alright. So, it, it gives you step-by-step -step directions. Alright. We did set up. Uh, okay, it comes with dust caps on pretty much all the, well, all the connections. You want to remove all the dust caps, the vent, all the, everything has a dust cap trying to keep everything, set, make sure you save them so you, you reuse them. Now the only one that we're going to leave on is the whiskey one here. Because we're doing the sugar wash, we're going to run through vodka mode, okay? So that's your only dust cap you're going to leave on. Alright. Okay, just to let you know what we're going on, it's, uh, we got, uh, vodka coming off and we got heads coming off. Uh, I mean, I, I put my finger under the, the heads, and what's coming off is kind of pungent smelling, like you would normally think of, uh, you know, four shots in the heads would smell like, usually. And then if you, uh, take a sample, take a little bit off of the, uh, 
<laughs> tastes like vodka. Uh, I did check the um, what's coming off. It's coming off over 80 percent. I mean, I use my refractometer, and that's as high as it, I can read is 80 percent. It's above that. So, hey, it's working. I mean, I can see, and you don't do nothing. It's doing it all on its own. Okay, so what is my impressions of my vodka maker? I think it's a pretty decent machine. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, once you set it, you don't have to babysit it. it. It's doing its own. The only thing I'll have to do every once in a while is change, you know, the jar out. Uh, so what do I like and what I don't like? Well, I can't say much I don't like. Uh, I The things I wish it was is that I like the labels that I put on it. That just helps me out, but ain't no big deal. And, and and just to be real picky about it if it was just that much taller you could put a regular quart jar underneath of it a lot easier and like I said I'm being super picky uh, but besides that I like it uh, what would it be good for I mean, well, let me go through the good, the con, or the pros. The pros is it's very easy to use. Uh, it, the vodka coming off tastes very well. Now, I just did a sugar wash, kind of as a, the learning thing here. You know, I did a gallon of a sugar wash, and it's running. I'm doing other things while I'm doing this, so, yes. The pros are, once you turn it on and set it, you just go do whatever else you want to do and let her go. Uh, I think that you could put the uh, the wash tube, you know, into a big container of wash, and then, like I said, you just have to change the jars. In. So overall, I'm impressed with it. Uh, I'll be looking forward to making some whiskeys and stuff. Cause like you all know, that's whiskeys and bourbons is my thing, but. I do like vodkas and all that, but uh, overall, hey, it's doing fantastic. Uh, if you're more interested in acorns, so if you're more interested in it, go to myvodkamaker.com and check it out. All right, so uh, overall, I'm impressed. All right, I guess the last thing I got to say is. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works in Bruin. Cheers, everybody.